Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian at Whisper Status 74. Welcome to the community and channel. If you're new to the community and you're new to the channel, please consider liking and subscribing if you like what we do here. It is a tech therapy channel. We cover all things tech for regular people. I am here doing a typical Best Buy loitering video that many of you guys like. I did these videos before the Super Bowl to check the changing in pricing and to see how they rose and fell as the Super Bowl approached. We went about a month and a half before the Super Bowl. We came right after the Super Bowl to see if there was any real price drop. There wasn't, they kind of leveled out even right before the Super Bowl. So what we're here for today is now that that series is done, we're gonna continue doing this every few weeks as the 2020 models start to trickle out. Now, I know it seems like common sense. If a Samsung, an LG, or a Sony releases, we immediately think the previous year the prices will drop. That typically is true. But what we're looking for is as a new Samsung drops, will Sony counteract that by making their top end displays more affordable? We've seen that. It's hard to tell what the trends are in regards to pricing, but you better believe every manufacturer has a plan that they follow. And a lot of that is to counteract when new displays launch. So you may see the same thing with the, the QLED series. You might see some of those drop as LG OLEDs come out or the Sony OLEDs come out. Um, Best Buy has the widest range physical inventory of any this, any store that we have in this area in the states at least for me i'm in connecticut uh, costco doesn't have as much to offer in terms of the higher end options the problem with best buy though is some of their brands like the hisense tcl 8 series is not available at this particular best buy or the tcls and the vizios you'll see more of those on the website what you'll see here is a lot of their higher end, their mid to high end. So we're gonna go through that pricing. When I'm in these stores, I will tell you, yes, I am loitering in those stores. I make sure I buy something each and every time I'm in here. I'm gonna be buying a couple 4K Blu-rays here. You'll see more of those reviews on the channel as well. But what we're looking for here is to cover the pricing of all sizes. Next to, if you do walk in these stores yourself, what you'll see, and they've added this recently, is there'll be a green sticker next to the size panel, and it'll give you the pricing of all available size in that tier. What we're looking for again is variance. We'll come back here in a week and see how the panels price-wise drop. It is um, on a Sunday. It is February 16th, 2020. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the store and see what the pricing is there. So here we are in the store. Let's start right at the top of the food chain. We're gonna start with the Sony A9G. You're looking at the 77 inch. We are in the Magnolia section here. I wanna look at the prices here. The 77 inch still remains at $5,999. The 55 inch is still $2,499. And the 65 inch is $3,299. The Sony A9G, keep in mind, is also the Master Series OLED. It does not compete directly with the cheaper C9. It competes with the upper echelon of the LG OLEDs, which is why the price seems so much more expensive in comparison to the C9. This is why that pricing is so different. Staying with Sony, we're now with the Sony 950G. This is the 75 inch. Above it, we have a Sony 900F. The pricing here is interesting as the Sony 950G at $27.99 for 75 inches, 55 inch, nine, nine, or $99, ugh, $1,000, I should say. The 65 inch is 15 dollars and the 85 inch, $42.99. What is interesting though is the 75 inch 900F, which is also excellent, is down to $14.99. The 49 inch is $9.49. The 55 inch $8.99 and the 65 inch is $9.99.99. Thousand dollars. <laughs> Why that makes me stop. 950G was one of the best LEDs last year, but love. The pricing of a 75 inch 900F is phenomenal. So it's the first real savings I've seen today. Staying with Sony, we are now at the A8G. The A9G is below it here, but the pricing for the A8G is at 55 inches, $17.99, and at 65 inches, sorry about that, 65 inches, $14.99. 
$24.99. Love the AAG. Sony's OLEDs are gorgeous. Moving on to Samsung, here we are with the Q900R 8K display as well as the Q90R. The pricing is as followed. For the Q900R, it is $34.99. At 55 inches, it is $26.99. 75 inches, $44.99. 82 inches, 7,000, and crazy at 85 inches, it's 15K. The 34.99 is for the 65 inch. Now what I love here is the difference between pricing with the Samsung Q90R, which is at 75 inches, 34.99, which is an excellent price. The 65 inch is 25.99, and the 82 inch is 44.99. The Q900R, this price of $14.99, that is out of control as far as the variance between 3 inches, 7,000 to 15,000. But that is Samsung. Absolutely love the Q90. And there you have the Q900R. Sorry, getting used to that. But I've definitely put these against each other. AK excellent if you actually use it and is coming whether we like it or not next year or should say this year moving on to LG my favorite display of 2019 was the LG C9 you have both sizes here available both 65 and 55 and we'll see what the pricing is for them The 65 inch C9 is $21.99. The 55 inch is $14.99. And the 77 inch is $5,000. They are absolutely stunning. Love the ladies look. LG Cena. Now for those of you interested in the Q lead line. The Q60R. That's the Q80. Q60R. You're looking at the 65 inch for $899. 43 inch for $599. 49 inch for $699. 55 inch for $799. 75 inch jumps up dramatically at $1499. And 82 inch is $2000. And here with the Q80, we can't show any movies here. Q80R, you're looking at $17.99 for the size that's there. But we'll look here at 55 inches is $14.99. 75 inches, $27.99. The 82 inches is $37.99. I like the Q80 a lot. Q900R. Now jumping back to the LG lineup real quick. You have the B9 here, 65 inches, $18.99, and the 55 inch is $12.99. Wish they offered a 7F7 version of the B series. And here is the 77 inch C9. Again, it's hard to show content in stores. You could definitely get flagged for that. Q60R. And here for Sony, if you like the larger that's for the 88G. We're looking for the 850G, which has become a very popular model. It is $24.99. At 55 inches, $8.29. 75 inches, $13.29. And 65 inches at $1,029. The 2400 is um, 
2500 I should say is for 85 inches it's a decent large display can't beat the money for that and here's the X900F we did the pricing for that one already on the other side and what I love about the 900F though is you know they just have a large variety of sizes and the price is so reasonable especially for you guys that like 900E the 900F was very similar now they do have the Vizio P series here they do not have the Quantum X here I'm not even sure they have it online but for the M series 749 399 for the 50 inch and 549 for the 55 inch for the Quantum P series not the X Quantum uh, 75 inches 1699 that's a great price for 75 inch display and the 1099 is for the 65 inch version that's all they offer here uh, TCL which is what we see here I wish they really had more of these so you can really see them in store here they only have the, the 5 series but the 5 series is 349 at 55 inches 279 at 43 inches there's a blur sorry about that 50 inches 319 65 inches 569 I just wish they offered more of that they'll have TCL or Hisense right around the corner now as far as Hisense, all they have to offer here is the H8F, not the H9F, 399 for the 55 inch, 50 inches, 329, 65 inch, 699. Now here looking at the Q70F, I almost forgot the Q70F, another popular model. It is 49 inches at 899, 55 inches, 1099, 75 inches at 2000, 82 inches at 2790. Q70, Q90. So, in closing, the prices have stayed pretty much consistent from before Super Bowl, other than the 900F, which I think took a pretty big drop. And again, is worth it if you guys are looking for a great LED display. The prices are pretty similar. We're going to see how they are in the next few weeks. We'll also come in here as the models drop. I believe LG is first with their new OLED line. We'll stop in and we'll see how those prices change each and every, I'd say, week and a half or so. All right, guys, this is Brian from WhisperStat S74. Thank you so much for joining me for my Best Buy loitering video. And I will talk to you guys in the comments. Thank you as always.